YouTubing and streaming changed a lot over the last couple of years. I think streaming overall as a medium, Twitch as a platform, and YouTube streaming of course as well, have uh, generally been growing out of proportion. Of course with the pandemic and everyone sitting at home there was a lot, you know, not a lot to do, so it made sense that people went online and uh, sought to, you know, be alone together. It makes a lot of sense. I think that in every scene and in every game, the community has just grown and grown and grown. I still think of myself as being new in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, um, not being in for much over two years. Um, it's been kind of weird being around in a time where we cannot really see eye to eye and meet in person but I felt very welcome and I'm looking very much forward to the future of meeting everyone. I met a lot of amazing people in my time online. I worked together with some of my heroes and made a lot of genuine new friends. Now we are all streamers and we are all content creators and the goal of content creation and of streaming of course is growth. We want to become better and better and better, better at our work, better as a streamer and better in the content that we make. We all work very hard to work towards our next goal. And then when we are finally at that goal, the next goal already has been set way further than the first one was already. Now there are many, many content creators in the UQC that do amazing and amazing work and they have the best communities out there. And I felt like it was time to get together with some. Over the last couple of months, organizations also known as teams have been popping off on Twitch and on YouTube. Big content creators working together as a big organization or a team to keep growing and growing together. Think of teams like OTK with popular Misgif and Asmongold, etc. I was wondering why this wasn't the case of Yu-Gi-Oh! Why don't people quite connect to their communities as well as the big guys do? I mean, it makes a lot of sense. They are big for a reason. Why wouldn't we, you know, learn from the best then? try to make our own medium a little bit better. And that's exactly why I'm making this video and why I'm making this announcement. I'm starting Team YGO. By no means Team YGO is a team that focuses on the competitive game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, we've known Yu-Gi-Oh teams for quite a while now, but there's a little bit of a difference in this team. We focus on content creation and collaboration and working together all for you guys. I mean, we have people from top competitive players to anime discussion channel, to artists, to yeah, there's, there's a lot in this team. I'm gonna talk about the members in a little bit, but the entire idea behind this team is to be there together for the content creation, to work together to our goals, and to make our communities yeah, see each other and see new parts of Yu-Gi-Oh that you may have not looked at in the past. And we have big names, we have small names. We are very inclusive in the team. We wanted to create a space, an organization, where we all feel free to explore and collaborate with each other. Which is also where the name comes from, Team YGO. Now YGO is of course an abbreviation that we've all used for Yu-Gi-Oh before. I mean, saying six letters is way longer than three letters, of course. And when making the name and making the team, I kind of felt like it just fit naturally. It just made a lot of sense for me to name the team like this. Let's talk a little bit about the members. These are members that I picked by hand. I feel like these people all really want to go and make it work. They all have worked already very hard in the past and I feel like we can all really learn from each other and, and not to say it like it, but kind of use each other to become better persons, become better streamers, better content creators. And it's not only for us, it's also for you guys because we want you to really enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, whether you like playing competitively, whether you just like to watch, whether you just like to um, you know, do the kitchen Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, nothing serious. We have people in our team for all over, so that you can always, you know, have something to watch, have someone to watch while knowing that it's, you know, part of the team. You know, like I said at the start, we are in this together, and I really wanted to do it with these guys for you guys, so yeah, without much further ado, let's introduce the team. Now the first member is King Scarlet, and he's kind of the father of the community. Scarlet single-handedly evolved to the skip making in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene to something an entirely new level. Now I honestly do not know anyone who doesn't like his book and you've probably seen a clip of him already. Now he makes videos for YouTube, he also live streams a lot so I felt like he was a very great match for the team. Then we have Solemn White Joe, he's a little bit of a newer person in our scene although he is already one of the bigger channels in Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Solomon is a god in Vanguard. He's almost a professional TCG player and he jumped right from TCG to TCG. He focused a lot of Vanguard in the past and now he's um, here with the Master Duel. On his channel on YouTube, he covers a lot of the news, a lot of the deck lists. And on his Twitch, he usually streams Master Duel a lot. Having a lot of fun with the game, which is why I thought that this could be a great spot for him to be in. Being a little bit lesser known to the other content creators, but still having a lot to offer with such a huge resume and other TCGs. Then we have Crystal Abundance. Now, Shiggy is the Salomon Great Queen, and it kind of makes sense since her favorite anime is V-Rains. She's an expert on everything anime related, and she's an expert on everything Cyprus related. I always love to watch her streams to mess around, play around with the game because she definitely comes from a place of love for the game. Um, wanting to actually learn how to play and actually play the game and become better in her own little niche, it's, it's the best. And we have my good friend Suffer, he's definitely a new age streamer. His streams and his videos are always filled with the newest memes and a lot of other language that I genuinely do not understand. But I really, really love him. Now you've seen him on this channel before, he's a competitive player who loves to test all his cocaine decks on stream and he's genuinely insane. This guy's gonna win a YCS once and definitely happy to have him on. You have Annie Evie, Annie does a lot of deck profiles on her channel. She also covers a lot of news on her channel and she is basically the Infernoble Queen. She has had a lot of success with Infernoble in the past on the remote events, even going as far as one of the invitationals with her deck. And she is all around just an amazing person, very excited to have her on. You have Smitty Plays, now if you do not know Smitty Plays, you probably have heard of him in the past. But he's a little bit more of a behind the scenes guy, he makes the discords for all the big creators. He made the yu gi tournament that you all love to see a little bit for a while ago. And he's always streaming as well, always on the cross, so a true, truly upcoming star. Then for one of the names that you, I mean you almost have heard of this, it's Yasin. Now, if you have ever played a deck in the TCG, Yasin has probably played it. He's the deck doctor of the community who works for a lot of big content creators to make the new decks, play the best decks, he always knows everything and he likes to test it all out on stream. So his streams are always filled with innovation and chaos of learning new decks and it's all around just an amazing guy. Last but not least, we have 5th rate Duelist. Now if Scarlet is the part of the community, then Zara will be the drive from one trip. Uh, she's a <laughs> amazing player who quite a while ago joined on the scene um, getting ready for her first YCS and yeah she's basically covered everything from her start in the community from her start in the game to learning the game becoming better having success having highs having downs uh, she's an amazing player who has definitely improved and learned a lot and she's just a lot of fun to watch it's genuinely insane to see how much hard work she puts in and already gets it out of the game so yeah definitely felt like a natural fit for the team and the last member out of our nine is me <laughs> That's him, hi, how are you doing? I'm a competitive player that focuses on TCG. You've all probably seen, it, seen my channel by now because it's, it's literally on my channel as it is. But with this team filled with in amazing individuals, I am sure that we can entertain you for what we are planning on doing. Because of course, what does a team do for Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, we are planning on doing a lot of very cool stuff. We're gonna do very fun archetype tournaments, uh, overall just tournaments with each other, podcasts, discussions, um, game shows, there's a lot of stuff that we can do with this. Now we are just getting started so bear with us, but we are planning on some amazing stuff. There's already a lot of stuff that we have been working on in the past and the team page just now got live so definitely go check it out in the description where you can see everyone of the team being live on Twitch. I'm just very much looking ex looking forward to this exciting new era. I really think that we have some a lot of untapped potential here. There's so much we can do together now that we're unified. The sky is truly the limit. Oh, and there's one more thing. If you missed your favorite content creator, or if you are a content creator and you would like to be part of this team, do know that we are always looking around and listening to what the guys all around us have to say. Now, the team, you know, has to get started somewhere. So I handpicked these eight other players uh, from my inner circle to get things going. But in the near future, I'm sure that we'll be expecting. So definitely keep doing what you're doing, keep doing what you love, keep working on it. And yeah, that's basically it. See you guys on Twitch.